Hi, I welcome you to my channel, uh, The Outlier. In today's presentation, we'll be looking at how to work with uh, categorical variables. As the name itself suggests, uh, when a variable has categories present in it, it is known as a categorical variable. Examples of a categorical variable would be marital status or uh, gender. Gender uh, is broken down into two categories, males and female. A person's caste, a person's religion, region, state, all these are variables which are examples of uh, categorical variables. How do you work with categorical variables? Uh, that is the question. And to demonstrate this, I'll be using a data set which is known as CARS data set. What I'll do is uh, I'll click on the option called as libraries. Then uh, I'll move on to SAS help. As you can see here, uh, let me just click on the arrow SAS help. There are a lot of data sets here. There is a popular data set which is known as CARS data set. As you can see here, uh, once I double click on this particular data set, uh, SAS fires the data set. Uh, it has 428 rows and 15 columns. You can see some of the columns here in this section. It has make, model, type, origin, drive train, MSRP, invoice, engine size, so on and so forth. All these are some of the variables that I have. Now, uh, when it comes to categorical variable, you can see variables like make, model, type, origin, drivetrain. All these are certain examples of categorical variables. When you have categorical variables, how do you work with such variables? That is the question. And uh, let me just close this uh, file. We're going to see an example to work with categorical variables. All right. Now, there's a very, very simple and a very powerful function which is known as uh, proc freak. You can just type this uh, proc freak. As you all know, PROC is nothing but uh, short form for procedure. Now, since I'm pulling out this uh, data set uh, from SAS help, what I'll have to do is uh, type the data set name, which is uh, PROC freak data equals SAS help. This is the library name followed by uh, the data set, which is cars, right? Semicolon. In the next line, I have to give a table command. Table command uh, is followed by the variable, the categorical variable which you want to analyze. Put a semicolon and then say run. Now what this does is it gives me a frequency distribution table for the variable type. Type is a categorical variable and in case you want to check what is uh, the distribution of this particular variable, you can use the variable, uh, you can use the option procfig. This is a very this is a very basic command that I'm showing. You can of course uh, give additional options as well, which I'll be uh, doing in the next stage. So let me just run this command. Select this and click on this little boy. As soon as you fire this query, SAS uh, gives the output in the results window, and you can see here there are six different types of cars: the hybrid type, you have SUVs, sedan, you have uh, sports car, truck, and wagon, right? And it's also giving you the frequency and the corresponding percentage. My first impression uh, is that uh, you mostly have uh, sedan cars, uh, which uh, is dominating uh, the market share. It looks like there are 62% uh, of the cars uh, which are uh, getting sold are sedan cars, right? The least uh, sales that you are uh, able to achieve is with uh, the hybrid cars, which accounts for less than 1%. So it's always uh, better to look at the percentages rather than the frequency. So you can see here uh, with a simple proc freak, right? This is a simple proc freak statement. With this simple proc freak uh, command, you can uh, generate uh, the frequency distribution table. Now, in case you want additional details along with this, what you can do is after the data set name, let me just uh, copy this, modify this code uh, slightly. What I'll be doing here is specifying additional options. One of the first options that I wish to get is N levels, which basically means I want the number of levels for this categorical variable, right? 
Now, uh, the second thing which I want to do is uh, I want to sort the frequency distribution table based on the frequency. So I can say order equals freak, right? What this order command does is it just sorts uh, the frequency distribution table based on the frequencies, right? Now I've got one categorical variable. In case I want additional categorical variables, I can uh, drag and drop some of these additional categorical variables, right? Let me just uh, pick up a couple of uh, additional variables. Uh, there is a variable called as drive train. Let me just drag and drop this particular variable here. I want to avoid uh, spelling mistake here. There's another variable here, uh, which is known as make. All these are categorical variables. So what am I doing with this uh, code? I'm generating a frequency distribution table for three variables, type, drivetrain, and make. In addition to it, I want SAS to display the number of levels or number of categories that are present in each of these three variables. And I want SAS to order the frequency distribution table uh, in uh, the descending order, right? So this is what this code uh, does. You have, uh, you can specify n levels and order equals freak to achieve the same. Let me select this code. Click on this little boy to execute this particular code. All right. Now, the very first table you see here displays the number of levels. When it comes to the first categorical variable, namely type, you have six levels or six different categories. These are the six levels that we are talking about. We have seen this in the earlier uh, example, sedan, uh, SUVs, sports car, wagon, truck, and hybrid. Now, you also can see drivetrain. This has three levels, front, rare, and all. Now, when it comes to make, uh, you have around 38 different categories, right? Uh, so since it has uh, so many uh, categories, the question is, should we at all consider this as a categorical variable, right? Uh, that's the question in front of us. You can see here, as before, you can see the type and it has also sorted it. Why has it sorted it? Because I have asked it to sort uh, in the descending order. So you can see here, sedan, SUVs and sports they mostly account for 86 percent please look at the cumulative frequency uh, together the top three types of car account for uh, 86 percent of uh, the sales that we are seeing right if you want you can look at the individual percentages uh, that give you the percentage percentage of cars that are present uh, corresponding to sedan suv and sports the same interpretation can be made for the uh, rest of the variables as well you can see drivetrain uh, it has again sorted uh, drivetrain uh, in the descending order. Uh, it looks like uh, when the drivetrain is front type, uh, that is accounting for approximately 52% of the vehicles, All right? Uh, followed by rare, which accounts for 25%. The last variable here is make. There are uh, 38 different groups here, and understandably, the frequency is very, very less. It is in single digit numbers, right? So. The proc freak allows you uh, to uh, uh, specify options, different options here. Finally, what I want to do here is uh, display a frequency distribution plot, right? So to do this, uh, let me just uh, quickly type uh, the command, comment here. Let me just comment this out. Frequency distribution. So this is what I want to do. Now I can just copy the, the code above, paste it here in line number 12. Now what I want to do here is in the table statement, I can put a slash here, right? And simply type plots, right? You can say plots equals freak plot, all right? I just uh, want a bar chart. So to display a bar chart, you have to just give a slash and type plots is equal to freak plot. Select this and execute the code. Right. As before, you're seeing uh, the number of levels. This is the first variable. If you want to see the distribution of this, you can see the chart here. Right. You can see the six different types of car and the corresponding frequency. Right. This uh, chart is self-explanatory. If I scroll further down, I can see the third 
I can see the second the categorical variable, which is drivetrain. It also produces a bar chart for each of these, right? Front type, rear type, and all. Uh, again, you can see here the front type accounts for more than 50% of the cars that are present. Finally, you can see drivetrain. Uh, there are 38 categories. So understandably, you see 38, uh, SAS is trying to uh, show 38 different categories with this plot. So uh, before we close the presentation, uh, let me just uh, quickly recap, recap uh, what we have done. The PROC FREAK command can be used to analyze any categorical variable. It just displays the frequency distribution table for uh, any frequency for any categorical variable. In addition to this, you can specify other uh, options here. N levels. N level stands for number of levels uh, in a particular categorical variable. You can sort the frequency distribution table based on the frequency count. Finally, we have seen how to uh, display a bar chart for each of these categorical variables by specifying the plots equals frequency plot option. With this, I come to the end of today's presentation. I thank you very much for watching uh, this video. I request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, press uh, the like uh, button. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much.